subscribe now. EU debates. Before we go into the details, uh, I want to uh, step back and remind ourselves of the big picture. Uh, I'm convinced of the following, that in order for us to have security in Europe, a meaningful peace, Russia has to lose this war in Ukraine. Ukraine has to win the war. And the way that we can help that happen is two ways. So one is militarily helping Ukraine defend themselves to push back the Russian attack. And the other aspect is to isolate Russia's economy. And that's the whole reason we have the sanctions. Now, we've been in, in all kinds of details for three months now, which sanctions and can we go further, can we not go further, but we have to remind ourselves why we're sanctioning in the first place. It's to isolate Russia's economy and make it more difficult for Russia to fund its war machine, its attack on Ukraine. I have argued from the end of February when this war started, full energy embargo, coal, oil and gas. We have coal sanctioned. Tonight, uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll be speaking about oil sanctions. I think that it's very important that we sanction uh, Russian oil because this is a huge source of uh, the Russian government's income, is oil and gas. I also think we should sanction uh, gas. This is not going to be the debate today, but we're getting a little bogged down in all of the details and we're forgetting the big picture. The Ukrainian people, they're fighting for their independence. They're fighting for our values, values that we are now taking for granted. Freedom, democracy, the rule of law. They're willing to die for these values. And we can and we must support them, if only out of self-interest, because only when Russia is defeated can we in Europe feel safe. Uh, this is a discussion, so we'll be we'll be discussing this tonight. Of the exception? Well, th there are talks now on how to sanction Russian oil. All oil exports are only uh, 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 seaborne uh, uh, oil tankers or pipelines, so there, there's lots of talk of details, and the details are important, but I'm going to be reminding also my colleagues tonight about the big picture. The big picture is that we have to starve Russia, Moscow, of the funds to continue funding the war. Uh, again, uh, these are all the details. Uh, if we get bogged down in only our own personal uh, 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 benefit, then we're missing the big picture. We can, we can all, if, if each European country only thinks about itself, then we would never move forward. Latvia is very heavily dependent, has been, on Russian energy imports. We are moving away from that and have no problem with that. It's going to cost us more, but it's only money. The Ukrainians are paying with their lives, and if, if we get bogged down only in thinking about money, then what is the sense of our union? Our union has to be strong when it needs to be strong, and now is the time to be strong. Two. Uh, remember the big picture, and let's agree on that that in order for Russia to lose the war, we not only need to support Ukraine militarily, but we need to isolate the Russian economy. This will help uh, uh, Ukraine to win the war and Russia to lose the war, which will create a basis for true European peace and stability. Uh, that uh, Europe, uh, that what Russia has achieved in these three months uh, has given NATO a new lease on life, is bringing Sweden and Finland into the NATO, uh, into the NATO fold, has increased uh, European defense expenditure, has created uh, the ability for Europe to agree to purchase and to supply weapons to uh, Ukraine, and in a sense has united uh, Europe and NATO in a way that we never would have been so united uh, and uh, 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 so united before. So uh, 
everything that Russia is attaining is actually counterproductive to Russia's own interests. But uh, we, in, in our side, uh, in Europe, we have to be strong and persevere. This is war that we're dealing with. This is not normal politics of, you know, each country's self-interest. We are in a situation where Europe, a European country, is being attacked. It is outside of the European Union, but it is a European country and a European democracy. And we have to be strong and persevere. We can attain our goals. Uh, I think it's important that uh, we look realistically that in order to, uh, to move rapidly away from uh, Russian energy uh, dependency, there is infrastructure that needs to be built out. So we have renewable infrastructure that we need to build out and alternate supply routes that we need to build out. And that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I have been arguing that for quite a while, that yes, the answer is yes. Uh, Europe should now be opening up its doors. Uh, candidate country status is not something uh, difficult uh, to uh, decide on. It's a, it's a pure political decision. It can be made in one day. And I think it's very important at this point that we do make this decision uh, for Ukraine and the other countries that we uh, want to open up and broaden the European democratic uh, family of nations, the nations that want to live, live by the rule of law, not the rule of force. Thank you very much. Uh, last summit, uh, quite some of uh, the, you were quite optimistic that the war is close to be over. Now, it seemed like there is nothing over, it seemed like uh, uh, President Vladimir Putin is increasing his war and there is even a lack of security for food in a lot of countries. What would be the right compromise to stop all this? The right compromise is for Russia to lose the war. There is no compromise with Russia. Russia has to lose the war and we in Europe can help supplying arms to Ukraine so they can defend themselves and push the Russians back, and broad economic sanctions, including oil, including gas, to starve Moscow of funds. This is the only way to move forward. The country in Africa cannot find the uh, flour to eat close to this war. Are you going ahead? The reason that there's a shortage of wheat is because of Russia's war in Ukraine. So Russia has to be stopped, then wheat will once again flow. Thank you very much.